G'day kids, make sure you hit the subscribe button, that way you won't miss out on any of the new videos that come out. Until then, enjoy this one. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. Get out, Ozzy! 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 Get out, Come the mighty blues. Ugh. Come the Go the blues. Queenslander. G'day kids, Aussie here. Today we're going to learn about one of the biggest sporting events played in Australia every year. Now I'm sure some of you have heard of it before and maybe even watched a game or two. And it's called State of Origin. Now State of Origin is a series of rugby league games played between New South Wales and Queensland and it is the best standard of rugby league seen anywhere in the world. Now kids, these teams are known as the New South Wales Blues because they traditionally wear a sky blue jersey when they play, and the Queensland Maroons because they wear a maroon jersey. But they are also known as the Cockroaches, that's New South Wales, and the Cane Toes, that's Queensland. And let me tell you kids, there is no better game of footy than when the Cockroaches take on the Cane Toes on a rugby league field. Now if you are lucky enough to play origin football, then you have reached the pinnacle of the game, which simply means it doesn't get any better than that. The passion, the drama, effort, speed, skill, and the big hits seen in this game is like no other than you have ever seen before. And the fans love it just as much, if not more than the players themselves. Almost every game is played in front of a packed stadium. Now the biggest crowd to watch a game was over 91,000 people. Can you imagine how many people that is? That's about 3,000 classrooms full of kids. Now it's hard to explain the fierce rivalry between these two teams. And come game time, the players don't seem to like each other that much. Which is it's hard to understand because normally a lot of these players are actually really good mates. But let me explain. For a long time, the motto of the game has been state against state, mate against mate. Now this is because many of these players actually play on the same club team and are mates for the majority of the year. But come origin time, they play against each other and they are definitely trying their hardest to beat their mates and win for the state. Now the story of how State of Origin started and why there is so much tension between these two teams is, for many years, the elite or the best rugby league competition in Australia was in New South Wales. So many of the best Queensland players came to New South Wales to play in this competition. They were then forced to play for New South Wales against Queensland, and this made a lot of Queenslanders a little bit unhappy. And when the first State of Origin game was played, and Queenslanders who lived in New South Wales were allowed to return home to Queensland and play for their true State of Origin, the state that they were actually from, this fueled a fire between the two teams. They now play each other in a best of three game series to see who gets bragging rights. There are so many legendary players that have played State of Origin, and we definitely won't have time to mention them all. But let me tell you about a few of my favourites. Wally Lewis is regarded as the king of Origin football. He played for Queensland for the first 12 years after it began. He played in 31 games and captained the team for 30 of those games. He won a record eight Man of the Match awards and led Queensland to nine series wins. He even has a statue at the front of the famous ground in Queensland, formerly known as Lang Park. Wally Lewis will forever be the king of state of origin football. Andrew Joey Johns is one of the best players to have ever played the game. He is one of the only individual players that can totally dominate this team game and has won plenty of games virtually on his own. Joey played 23 games for New South Wales and captained the side to a series win in 2003. He went on to be named the 8th Immortal of Rugby League, which is the highest accolade only ever given to 8 players throughout the whole history of Rugby League, so far. Cameron Smith holds nearly every record there is in Rugby League. He has played the most games, scored the most points, made the most tackles of all time. He has also played the most Origin games ever, there's 42 games. 
He has also won the most Origin games ever at 24. And he has won the most Origin series ever, and that's 11. He played a key role in the record eight series wins in a row from 2006 to 2013. Cam Smith is likely a future immortal, and without a doubt, he is a legend of State of Origin football. Paul Gallen is one of the toughest and gutsiest players to have ever played for the Blues. He played 24 games for New South Wales, many of those during the years of the Maroons dynasty. But it was Gal who captained New South Wales to their first series win in nine years to break the Queensland dominance and put New South Wales origin footy back on the map. Gal always gave his all for his state and he has definitely earned his place amongst the greats to have ever played origin football. But origin footy is definitely for the fans, the ones who support their state through thick and thin, through the many ups and downs and the wins and losses. Without the supporters, the game simply would not exist. And this, this is the sort of gear the fans would often wear to show their support. So if you don't already know your state of origin, or if you haven't yet decided which team you're going to support, the time is now. Your team needs you. Show your support. Let them hear your support. Whether you cheer, Karma Blues, or Queenslander. May the best team win. And for the littlest footy fans, this book is a great introduction into state of origin footy. There is also a New South Wales version, and you can listen to both of those on Storytime with Aussie. Now I hope that you've learned a little bit more about this amazing spectacle that is State of Origin footy. And I hope that your team wins. Make sure that you cheer loud and proud. And of course kids, as always, stay keen. Hey kids, did you have lots of fun today watching Aussie? I hope so. Did you know that we've got a heap of Aussie episodes on our YouTube channel? If you haven't already, Go back and have a scroll through. I reckon you'll find some others that you absolutely love. And while you're there, why don't you hit subscribe? That way you won't miss out on any of our new videos that we bring out. We'll see you again soon, kids. Until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right, stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine.